Okay guys, so we're gonna make some Asian style baked chicken, okay? So here I have some chicken wings. Um, I already washed this out with some lime juice, okay? So what I'm going to do is pre-season my chicken wings with some ginger, garlic, and lemongrass, okay? So let's just move this to the side. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. All right, so I, have, I don't have much fresh ginger. So I'm just gonna, because we're gonna have to make a Asian style barbecue sauce for this as well, to bake it. So I'm gonna use what I have, um, both to put in the chicken now, which I'm gonna leave to, to marinate, and for the sauce that we're gonna make after, okay? So I'm going to use my mortar and pistol here in order to crush my ginger and my garlic. And I have a little piece of lemongrass that I got from my garden, okay? That I'm going to bruise in order to put in it, okay? So what I'll do actually with the lemongrass, let me just make it a little smaller so that it will be able to go, go inside to pound. All right, so let right, me rest this here. Let's put this one here. You can drop this in, okay? I'm gonna drop in all the ginger, because uh, I'm gonna have this. Some I'm going to put in now, and the rest I'm gonna put into the sauce that we're gonna make, the Asian-style barbecue sauce. So for the garlic, I'm just gonna peel it. Oh, yes, I had another knife. Let's put it down. And cut onto the board. Right. Now, usually when we're doing garlic, we want to smash it. And we, the reason why we smash the garlic is to release the allicin, which has the flavor compounds. But remember, I'm going to be smashing it. Now, I rinsed out this garlic already. I'm going to be smashing it in here. So all I have to do now is just peel it. If I was chopping it on the board, I would have smashed it and then cut it up. All right, so let me just get to peeling the rest of this garlic and I'll be back. All right, so we're gonna smash our garlic, ginger, and lemongrass. Just take the piece of lemongrass out. Actually, you know what? No, I can continue smashing. I was gonna throw it in with a chicken one time, but I'll leave it. Okay, so we have our garlic, ginger, and lemongrass piece here, okay? So let me bring back the chicken wings here. All right, so to this, we're gonna add some of this here. And the rest of it, I'm gonna put in this sauce that I'm gonna make. Actually, let's put all the lemongrass in here. So it gets to um, help the flavor our chicken wings, all right, good. So I'm gonna get a glove now and give this um, a nice massage. So remember what this has, this has lemongrass, ginger, and garlic. Hi guys, I just wanted to share something with you that you would not know, but um, I suffer from tachycardia and would you believe that every time I have to cook my heart rate goes up just because I'm using my hands and cutting and so forth just that causes my heart rate to go up so many times 
while I am cooking, I actually have to stop and go and sit. I have a recline chair in my kitchen and I just have to go and sit and just rest in order to get my heart rate to go back down. Um, so any activity I do, even talking can cause my heart rate to go up. And like you, if you follow my other channel, Laura Falls videos too, you'll see where I do gardening. Um, while I do those activities, like my heart rate will be, the last time I, I did some, like I forked up my garden, my heart rate was 132 because of that and I was feeling dizzy. So I was not able to finish um, all of that. So what I do, I just like, when I realize that like, I need to stop, I'll just stop and then I'll come back another day and, and do that. But it's just a little something that you guys don't know about me. But yeah, every time I, I cook, my heart rate even goes up higher than what it is now. I just had to go and sit actually in my lawn chair just to help to bring it down. Um, sometimes I will have readings like 112 or 120 just because I'm cutting. And when I have to cut, it takes pressure. Like I have to use force to cut into it, the things and that causes my heart rate to go up. So that's just a little something that now you didn't know about me, but now you do. Okay, so I think we have given this a nice massage. So I'm gonna cover it now with cling wrap and put it into my fridge. All right, so what we're going to do now is work on our sauce for our Asian style baked chicken or barbecue chicken, if you want to call it, because you can do like a barbecue type chicken in in the oven. Um, to make our sauce rather, I'm going to put this in. Our garlic, ginger and lemongrass that we smashed. Right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, in my case, I'm using a raw cane sugar. There's a tablespoon of that. All right. I'm going to use a tablespoon of honey. to use a tablespoon of tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce, and this is not very salty. I'm going to use a tablespoon of hoisin sauce. I'm going to use a tablespoon of gluten-free oyster sauce. I'm also going to use a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. This is a gluten-free dark soy sauce that I made. I will um, leave a link in the description showing you how I made my gluten-free dark soy sauce. All right, and because I didn't have much ginger, I'll put a little bit of ginger powder in it as well, okay? All right, let's just scrape this out. We're gonna mix this. So this is our sauce that we're going to use for our baked chicken, okay? All 
Actually, what I'm also going to add to this sauce is some red onion. I don't have shallots. Usually you would use shallots when you're doing Asian style sauces, but I don't have shallots, so I'll substitute with um, red onion. All right, so let me just um, cut up this red onion here so that I can add it to it, okay? Just take some. Oh, maybe I should just use up all of it. guys so here we have our sauce I'm gonna leave it to soak in so that all the um, ingredients get to marry together okay guys so we left our chicken to marinate for the day so now we're going to put it on our bacon sheet here um, actually no before I do that what I'm going to do we have to add our sauce to this and then we're going to put it on the bacon sheet all right so remember we had our sauce here so we're going to take that off I need to get a spoon I'll be back. All right, so we're going to add our sauce to this. And then I'm going to mix it around. And then we're going to put it on our baking sheet. Now, because we have sugar, because we have sugar in this sauce, that's why I put my parchment paper to help with easy cleanup. Because you know what sugar does. Sugar burns, right? So we're going to be making a Asian style big chicken. All right, so now I'm going to put this chicken onto Oops, that was not supposed to happen. Onto my bacon tray. So let's get this over here. Okay. So I have my oven preheated at um, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I'm going to put my chicken in for about 45 minutes. Actually, what I'm going to do is halfway through this, um, the cooking process, I'm going to flip the chicken wings. Actually, no, let's put that back that way. Okay. All right, so I think that's it there. So this now goes into the, into the oven. Okay guys, so I'm gonna turn my chicken wings.